Okay, welcome to another one of my videos. This is a video on cut, copy, paste. More specifically, the advanced pasting options. And I'm going to try, hopefully, to demystify that a little bit because that can be uh, quite confusing, I think, is the best way of putting it. Anyway, I'm going to start with a couple of bits of basics. You can see I've got some clips of various lengths here. Just explain why some things happen and some things don't. Uh, but start with the very basics of selecting a clip by left clicking on it and then I can either cut copy paste one of three ways with the cut copy I can right click bring up the edit menu there select cut or copy I can do that from the main menu edit oops again cut or copy or well, my preferred method is using control C so I press control C that's now copied that now the first thing to note with the pasting options even if you're not going to use the options box is that the paste will always happen on the active track and in this case I've got track 10 active not selected there is a difference I do select that track 10 is still the active track so if I want the paste to happen at bar 17 for example I put the now time at 17 but if I were to paste that now it would still paste in track 10 so I need to make track 21 the active track because that's where I want it to go and control V as you can see that post paste that clip into track 21 at tracks at beat set bar 17 so far so good if I just undo that just explain something about the copy options here if I select a clip that has other data in it other than the events in this case a marker when I press control C I will now get the options box as you can see pops up ask me what I want to copy so if I wanted to copy just the marker I could obviously deselect the events in track select markers and now when I paste the only thing it's going to paste will be the marker but in this case I want the events in track so that's what I'm going to select and you'll also find that that works with automation be it clip or track automation also tempo changes meter and key changes so you can see already there's quite a few uh, useful things that you can do there if you want to copy just track and bus automation you deselect everything uh, and use that if you want to if you were copying tempo changes again just deselect everything except the tempo change if you want everything you can leave it all there uh, so it's, there's lots of options about what you copy and that's also mirrored later on in the advanced paste box as you'll see so if you're unsure you can copy everything and then choose what you paste so it really is very versatile OK, we're going to cancel that. And before we just move on to the uh, the paste box, I'm going to show you the difference uh, again with the copy because it makes a difference whether it's a, a full, or not necessarily a full measure, but whether it's a full bar or multiple of bars or whether it's just beats what happens with the pasting here. So if I select a clip that is three beats long as you can see that's not a full bar it's just three beats and I'm going to copy that press control C come down to track 21 and I'm going to make this uh, fairly simple so if I start uh, put the now time in at bar 10 because that will just help with the explanation on what happens here and I'm now going to bring up the advanced paste box with alternate control V uh, as you can see there's now lots of options available here if you can't see that by the way that's because you just need to click on the advanced uh, button down at the bottom starting at time will be equal to where the now time is but you can of course change that you could just change that to bar 20 for example and start the pace there repetitions for now is at one uh, so there's going to be one copy when we paste it Starting tracks track 21, which is the currently active track, but again you can change that. Link to original clips just means that uh, if you select that, any processing that's done on one clip will be mirrored on the other. And by processing, I mean things like, uh, things like normalization and gain settings and stuff like that. Uh, blend old and new, uh, this is what to do with existing material. Blend old and new will basically paste that into the track and leave any. Uh, existing material there 
it doesn't mix it down as such or bounce it down it just puts it in as a new layer replace old with new means that when you paste it it will replace any existing material in that track uh, and that means not necessarily where you're pasting it anything in that track so be very careful with that option slide over old to make room it just does what it says on the tin really it's just going to move any existing material to make room for the new stuff and here's the what to paste uh, section that I was referring to in the what to copy section of the copy box basically if I copied anything with uh, other than events and clips these wouldn't be greyed out and I would then have the options to paste either or the automation, the tempo changes, markers and, uh, and the meter key changes so as I said that makes the cut copy paste very very powerful because you can pick and choose what you paste if you don't want it the clips you just deselect clips and you paste the automation but remember that you have to copy it in the first place obviously so that's that where this box gets a little bit more complex and confusing is once we get the repetitions above one so if I change the repetitions to two you can see a line to measures is checked so what's going to happen there is basically Sony is going to pad out because remember I've got a three beat clip in memory or on the clipboard and a line to measures is basically going to pad that out so that each paste, each, co each copy of the paste, is going to go in at the measure. It effectively pads it out. So if I increase that to 3 so we can really see this happening, and then click on OK, because a line to measures is checked, it starts the next paste on the next measure okay so that's how you get a shorter than a measure clip to actually line up very quickly and easily I'm right, just going to undo that and again I'll turn at control V bring that paste box back this time I'm going to uncheck the align to measures and if you can see there that the interval at the moment is at two bars first beat interval is really the wrong word there because that isn't an interval from the end of the first paste to the start of the second that's actually an interval from where the previous paste happened uh, that sounds quite confusing and that's because I believe it is quite confusing yeah so if I just again paste that in and point this out so you, I can really explain what I mean clearly hopefully because when we deselect that it's going to change so if I just click on OK again so first paste happened at bar 10 so that's measure 1 beat 1 so the next paste because that was the interval was 201 is going to happen at the second bar first beat in relation to this first paste so there is the second bar first beat and the paste after that again is going to happen at the second bar first beat in relation to this one now so again there's the second bar first beat in relation to that previous clip and so on so if we had 30 paste they would all have that interval there because it's always the second measure first beat in relation to the previous pasting position I hope that makes sense gets a little bit more confusing now because again if I undo that <coughs> and again control alternate V now if I des deselect a line to measures the interval has now reduced to first bar four beats again that's not a gap as an interval that is actually a position a, a position relative to the previous paste so I think the easiest thing to do is just click OK and then show you what happens so there we go just remember we we have an interval setting of first bar fourth beat so there's the first paste at measure 10 now one bar four beats bear in mind this is the first bar there is no bar zero so the next paste at position bar one fourth beat happens at bar one fourth beat which is actually 10 tenth bar third beat so that's where the first paste happens the second paste is going to happen at bar one 
fourth beat in relation to this starting point. So if I move the now time there, so one bar, fourth beat is actually there because that's bar one, beat one, bar one, beat two, beat three, beat four. If I now click and move the now time, you'll see that is indeed where that paste has happened. But that probably isn't what most people want because these are actually shifting forward a beat in time on each bar and that would go on all the way through if there was more pace. So I think that's uh, quite an important thing to get across, that interval and the way that works. So just undo that again and go back to that box and just again highlight this interval isn't an interval from the end of the previous clip to the start of the second. It is always a, t a time, real time relative to where the previous paste happens. I hope that makes sense. Because that can be quite confusing. But we can use that to our advantage. So I'm going to cancel that now. And this time I'm going to select a uh, clip that is actually a measure long. I'm going to copy that. And once again, we're going to drop back to bar 10, the now time and bring up the advanced options box again, alternate control V. Now we can use this uh, interval to actually create gaps. Now, hopefully I've explained what this interval means. It's always in relation to where the previous clip was pasted. So if we want a two bar gap in between each clip, we need to increase this first figure here, the interval. We need to make that bar four, beat one. So now on a clip paste, uh, clip OK, sorry, there you go, you'll see that we've got the measure fits in there and the next paste happens at bar 4, beat 1, in relation to this starting time. So that's bar 1, bar 2, bar 3, and there we go, bar 4, beat 1. This now becomes ground zero if you like and we then start counting again bar one bar two bar three and there's bar four beat one so we can use that options box to actually put in uh, known intervals or gaps which is very handy if you're pasting sections of songs so you've got uh, verses and you want to paste them uh, a couple of extra verses but leave eight bars free for a chorus you can do that from that options box I just hope that that interval makes sense because it is very, well I found it very confusing and, and still do to a certain degree, it's just the way it's worded. Anyway, I hope that helps with the pasting options there. There will be another pasting video, but uh, I'm trying not to fry anybody's brain, including my own too much. So I'm going to leave it there for now, but that interval box, as I say, is uh, quite confusing. Once you get to understand what I mean it all makes sense but initially it can be very confusing anyway hope that helps if uh, if it is confusing please post something on here to let me know uh, or you can find me on the forums at uh, cakewalk forum uh, I'm fast biker boy on there and I'll do my best to make myself a little bit clearer hope that helps anyway